in my effort to bring you journalistic excellence, I travel the world in search of um, the perfect venue. Uh, this week I am in the very beautiful resort of Germula, which is outside of um, Riga in Latvia. The question has come up a lot about how do we talk about Bowen in a way that doesn't make claims and doesn't talk about um, certain specific outcomes. I think it's an interesting, an interesting subject. The, the, there's a difference between making claims and, uh, um, and giving information. And the first thing I would always want to say is that you want to be truthful in relation to how you see it without necessarily promising anybody anything. Um, and there's two ways of doing this, both verbally and in writing, and I think uh, the two are, are worth a, a distinction. Firstly, anybody that's saying to you, what is Bowen, is generally saying in their primary motivation, what's in it for me? Why, why would I want to be um, asking you about Bowen? And, and you can establish clearly whether somebody is asking you from a perspective of self-interest or whether they're asking you from the perspective of challenging you. I would strongly advise you to be one of those people that never get into an argument or a debate about the merits of complementary medicine or fascia or anything else unless you really have some facts at your fingertips and um, unless you really know your stuff. There's a great expression that's out here in the, in the Baltic States and Balkans from a chap that um, spoke to me years ago and he said to me, never try and teach a pig to sing. It wastes your time and it just annoys the pig. And I think that's very valid. Once you find that somebody is trying to challenge you or pin you down or, or get you to say something which is uh, a little bit, what's the word, emotional, then you've probably lost it. So bottom line is, if somebody says to you, that Bowen thing doesn't work, then the chances are the best way you can ever going to win that argument or get out of it is to say, yep, you're probably right. Or just simply say, are you going to try it? And if the answer is no, then, well, they're 100% right because Bowen isn't going to work for them and you've saved yourself 20 minutes, half an hour of you getting wound up and, uh, and just getting nowhere. So W double I F M, what's in it? For me is the question. But often if people say to me, what's Bowen? It may be that they're asking from the perspective of they have a problem. So have a little look at them, find out what what have they what are they carrying around with them? What can you see that is fairly obvious? You know, if somebody's walking around like that and says, what's this Bowen then? You might want to say, well, it's something that can really help with bad necks. And they go, really? I've got a bad neck? Oh, funny that. What you're dealing with is why are you giving somebody information? So it's all about looking to you to say, well, choose the information that you give. If I'm saying to somebody, I've got something that can help your neck, well, it's maybe it can help your neck. Let's give it two or three shots. Let's give it a chance. Making claims is something where you're going to say, my treatment is going to fix your back. Well, there isn't any medicine in the world that can guarantee that. So avoid them. statements like that, like the plate. Even a surgeon isn't going to say to you, yep, I'm going to give you a knee replacement and it'll be as good as new afterwards. And if they are, then they're a fool. What they're going to say is, we'll give you a knee replacement. What's the, what's the responses? Well, seven out of 10 people, or overall, or on the whole, or you know what, people going to surgery, sometimes they just die from having that aesthetic. Are they going to guarantee you don't? No, well, the chances are very small. So there's risks. Speak from your experience rather than speaking from a truth as such and you won't go far wrong.